hello guys welcome back to guitar tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix after windows 11 2022 h2 update you are having the issue on the search it is not working you can't search anything or you're having the trouble and if you check that uh, we are right now if you check as you can see we, how we can fix if you're on the 2022 h2 file on the version and how you can fix the search bar is not working or you can't search anything over here then how we can fix it as you know that we search everything here even uh, command prompt powershell etc and if it's not able to search then this is really messy and how we can fix so let's move to it the workarounds and the first one is all about you have to restart your windows explorer so this is the windows explorer right so we have to restart it for restarting we have a shortcut we have to press three buttons from the keyboard that is control shift and escape you have to press all these three together so i'll pressing right now control shift escape so when i do this i'll be getting an option like this which is take we are going to the task manager okay so i'll do it once again control shift escape so we'll be getting the task manager and from here you have to select windows explorer okay now what you have to do is just go for restart so the first step is we are restarting the windows explorer and once it is done just go over here just go to over here in the search and you can see whether you are able to fix the issue or not most probably you will be able to fix you can search but even if it's not working then we just have to move to the next one next one is all about you have to repair all windows app via powershell but the question over here is we can't search for powershell or we are not able to search so how to get into powershell so we can do this using the task manager for that you have to press uh, the same process that you have to press three buttons on the keyboard they are control shift and escape so you have to press control shift and escape so that will take you to this and now from here you have to click on the file at the top now just go for run new task now here you have to give powershell so i'll type powershell okay so just type powershell and click over here create this task with administrative privileges just go for it and go for ok so now you'll be getting this that is powershell so uh, what you have to do is you just have to do is you just have to copy a few commands in the description which i'll be providing so you don't have to worry you just have to copy this okay so right now we are on the powershell without searching and you just have to paste this command and press enter so what happens is you will be getting few errors in between like this you don't have to worry on these errors these are just ignore it and we have to copy paste another one that is this one we just have to copy this okay and you have to paste it and now press enter so this will take a bit of time so you just have to wait and wait for it so that this will be running everything will be running so once it's successfully done you are done with everything and what you have to do is you just have to restart your pc and most probably after restarting the pc and when you navigate to the search you will be able to fix the issue and this is what you have to do as a second step by this most probably the issue will be completely fixed and even after trying if it's still not working and you're having the issue so i'll be skipping this you just have to wait for it but i just wanted to show you another one so i'll be minimizing this so wait for it and do a restart and see even after trying the sep second step it's not working then just move to the next one that is update windows using media creation tool so i'll be providing a link in the description that will take you to this so this is uh, windows 11 as you can see we are having the create windows 11 media installation tool over here just click, click on download now once it is successfully downloaded you just have to click over here go for open now they're going to ask you the question go for yes now what you have to do is you just have to wait and you have to do a few more things like setting this up and everything so just wait for it and most probably after doing this i mean you'll get this go for accept then most probably after updating i mean doing the powershell most probably this has to be worked but if it's not working then just go for this one and now you have to select the english united states windows 11 go for next and set this to iso file not to the usb go for next and you have to save this so i'll save this over here in the desktop i'll save this go for save so you just have to wait and once it is successfully done i mean it is saved as you can see it is getting progress so you will be able to see it here right now you will be able to see once it is successfully done this will be available in the desktop so once it is after that you just have to open this and you have to in 
select the .exe and you have to run it. And most probably after that, the issue regarding this will be completely fixed. So I think this is uh, take a little bit of time. So I'll skip the part. You just have you will be able to see the ISO file over here. You will be see that. Just open the ISO file. Then just install uh, the setup folder there. Just install and most probably this will be completely fixed and hereafter. So I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.